Yo, what is up guys? My name is Patrick, host of the EDH Brutality YouTube page, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you can see, the background is a bit different from what you are accustomed to, making this another room video. My arm is getting rather tired because this is not my first take, but we will make the best of it. So before we get right into today's content, as always, I just want to thank everyone for your ongoing support of this page. Your support recently has been absolutely unreal, and it certainly doesn't go unnoticed. But we've got some very exciting content to share with you all today, and we are going to be going over my personal collection of EDH play maps for the game known as Match the Gathering. So heading on over to where we make the magic happen, the YouTube videos, let me get out my EDH play mats. Now for any new viewers or individuals that don't know how to play Magic the Gathering, a play mat is essentially a large mouse pad designed specifically for you to place your playing cards upon to prevent them from wearing on a dirty surface. And frankly, I hate to say it, but they are a complete waste of money. If you buy one play mat, that is not the case, but nobody ever buys one. Because I, for instance, have five and they're all stored in a Game Genic Dungeon 1100. Now this box is typically meant for cards, and it originally was, until I had too many playmats to store. And you never want to store your playmats out in the open to collect dust, because ultimately you're going to be setting your cards on it. So I ended up repurposing this box, and it is perfect. It can hold a total of eight playmats. And yes, I know, a play mats is a bit much, but when the game is addictive as Magic the Gathering, there's no better choice to do this other than with the Game Genic Dungeon 1100. And let me just say, this video is not sponsored by any means, it's just my personal preference. Now, the inside cover is this really cool manufactured, like microfiber suede or Alcantara, has a really nice touch to it, and as you can see, it's got the two compartments capable of holding up to eight play mats. just depends how tightly you roll them. And even if you don't want to hold eight play mats and you just have a few, you could always separate them, roll them nice and tight, and put them all in one section here, or divider. Let's just take that out because they aren't rolled as tight as I would. And what's great about the game, Genix, is you can fit your extra large sidekicks, I believe that's what they're called, right in here and have half of it be play mats, the other half being four double sleeved commander decks in these extra large magnetic containers. And another great feature I really enjoy about the dungeons here is not only can we fit our decks and our mats, but we can also fit tons of tokens in the side. As you can see, it's not a snug fit. So for concise comparison, we do have a Dragon Shield Sapphire mats, card sleeve box, and let's just jam it right in there. So imagine you just have ample tokens without this box here and you have room for them. No one seems to cover this, and I figured it's a good share for those in the market. But that's not the point of the video. I'm just explaining why I use a card box for my <laughs> playmats, as ridiculous as it sounds. So with that out of the way, let's jump into all of my playmats that I would like to show to you today. Now, like I said, we only have five at the moment, but I do plan on purchasing more in the near future for a total of eight custom play mats. Now heading on over to our webcam with the better microphone for the audio quality, we are going to be unveiling our very first play mat here, which we did get on Inked Gaming. As all the play mats displayed in this video, we have purchased off Inked Gaming. You can see we do have the stitch edging here, and this just prevents it from peeling as you wash it in your washer. I haven't had to wash mine because I, once again, I store my play mats in a deck box. They don't really collect dust and I don't eat or drink around any of my cards. So they're rather clean, but they are machine washable. Once again, none of this is sponsored. So what I'm displaying today is just an informational video. And if you like any of the artwork, unless it's an artwork that I made myself or collage together, I will be linking them in the description below. For example, Toad Rider. We have a Q squirrel on a toad. I did not design this, I just purchased it off Ink Gaming. If you like this playmat, I'll provide the link right in the description below. So this is my very first playmats, and I love the art. Fantasy, fantastic. Ultimately though, I ended up getting another playmat because everyone that I played with would always ask, oh, so you play squirrels? I'm like, no man, I don't play squirrels, I just like the art. Which surprisingly always led to disappointment. So it led me into my second playmat once again, purchased from Inked Gaming, 
all playmats seen in this video, I purchased from Ain't Gaming. And oh, you can see it. I swear, this playmat is cursed because you can see right up here in my hands, they're all shaky. <laughs> I, it's cursed. Yes, the webcam does not like this playmat. As you can see, it's all bugging out. So I will only play this playmat in person, but a really cool playmat. Link will be down in the description. Don't play it on spell table though, because you'll see this weird glitch stuff. Moving on to the third one here. We had to get a third because obviously this one is not working with the webcam. Oh my gosh, what is my wrist doing? All right, we are unveiling this. Maybe we can fix the problem. And look at that. It's not cursed anymore. So this was a custom mat I made myself and collaged together. As you see, you have Angus McKenzie here. And he, as a matter of fact, is a commander for one of my favorite commander decks. It is a pillow fort deck, thus explaining Angus Beef, or Beef Tenderloin, the pillows, and the fort. And then we have the eggplant. I don't know why, just he's a Chad. So the deck name is Beef Tenderloin, Strength Through Weakness. And the whole goal is to play a defensive match and ultimately become untouchable. So you can see the stitch edging with this is much more intact than my squirrel play mat all the way down here. But that's just because of the age of it. I believe the squirrel one is about eight or nine months older from this play mat itself. But uh, yeah, this was my direct response in building a really cool deck as well as this one not being compatible. Look at that, it's cursed. Then my, my webcam's fine. <laughs> it's just something about the playmat underneath this one. It doesn't like it. But unfortunately, if you have a very specific playmat and it's for a certain deck, you can't really play it with another deck if I'm being honest, because then it just looks weird. So what did I do exactly? Well, I, uh, in response, I made another custom play mat. <laughs> and I obviously didn't learn my lesson. This one is Tani Fa. This is for a fantastic deck, my personal favorite. Both Tani Fa and Angus are on my channel as deck techs. Links to those will be provided down in the description below. But this was a really cool play mat that I collaged together. But we've got really cool key elements here. We've got Mana Vortex, great card in the deck. We've got Pirate Ship. I don't have that card in the deck, but it's good flavor because you're on the ocean. The Polar Bears from, I believe it's Polar Kraken here. The background here, the mountain is once again from Mana Vortex. And then we have Tani Fa himself, the commander, my all time favorite commander. I learned my lesson after my fourth play mats. Took me long enough. And I made a purchase of my final play mat here. So yeah, we got the Tigers going after the donut and it makes for a really fun playmat. You guys have seen this in my mail call unboxing videos. This playmat specifically was designed by Mark Square. I'll provide the link down in the description below, but they all have the stitch edging and they're all from Inked Gaming. And uh, the stitch edging, I believe will run you a total of $34. So like I said, colossal waste of money, but it's great artwork. And if you've been playing cards for hours at a time, it's always nice to appreciate a good piece of arts as a backdrop for your cards now like i said we only have five at the moment but i do plan on purchasing more in the near future for a total of eight custom play mats and the reason is simple we have a patreon now and uh we haven't got there yet but one of the top tiers involves a custom signed play mat annually and this isn't just gonna be an any ordinary playmat. As a matter of fact, if someone ever does subscribe to the tier, I'm gonna hire an actual graphic artist to design up a playmat for us in the channel specifically. So whenever that does happen, whether it's a year or five years from now, I do plan on adding those to my collection, especially given the fact that once I drop those annual playmats, I'll never be releasing them again. But it's okay, because we got room for them in the Game Genic Dungeon 1100. This <laughs> It's so ridiculous. I don't know why I'm storing playmats in a card box. It just works. And I suggest you do the same. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Perhaps for 1,000 subscribers, we'll showcase some other things going on in the room, but I guess we'll just have to get there to find out. So as always, if you'd like to stay tuned for future videos here on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And with that said, my name is Patrick, host of DH Brutality. I thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.